that's what I see there. Right, this is the the new playlist under the hood and upgrades. Right, remember this was sent to me by Wasp, so this is his um, update. He's having well, he's having quite a lot done to it really. He's having this taken out, mechanical speed control, the servos getting removed, electronic speed controls going in, digital. That'll be going. Motors getting swapped. Um, I usually do this because I, I've got a company down south that do me really good parts, and you know I'm charging him for it. To have this done to anybody else is 65 quid for because it's done. It's not really costing him anything. It's costing just the you know. Well, we know how much it's costing, don't we? Don't. Um, just gotta dig myself another fucking big hole. Right, where's that gone now? What I'm going to do today is take the electrics out. Again, I recommend using an old tray to put your, your things in. Um, the reason why I'm removing this, Don, is because this day and age you don't need them, and it's, if you were to run a lipo with that, it's bye bye car, it'll just burn up into anything. So, these should be the 5 e 10 so I put them in there. Um, I know you wanted to keep it as it was, buddy, but uh, safety reasons, and I've got a lot of friends on here who back me up. You don't want a mechanical, unless it's a vintage, like a Kyo show or an Optima made or anything wrong like that. But you know, my job is to think about health and safety as well as just, you know, profit making, and that's why I do it. That's why I say that RC Nerd is more than a channel, I'm here to help people. I was going to do some bashing today, but I'm not feeling very well, and mum had a bit of a, a bit of a turn, like so. I'm a bit, I'm on standby, so to speak. Um, let's see, take this out now. This servo now is not needed. And the agreement to all, even was it counts to, is when I do an upgrade, I keep the parts. So literally, I get myself a new servo, blah blah blah, and all that crap. Um, but in return, he'll end up with electronic speed control, and nothing fancy. Um, better motor, because that one sounds like it's dogged, mate. Um, it's using a lot of power, even with a decent battery in it, so. I would like to get shut of the bastard thing, so I've got a spare one here, I'll put that on. Um, resistor, bloody hell, you see what these bloody ages. Um, see, I can always sell that, not much sell it on, trade it on. I don't really sell much of trade now. Um, swap it with somebody who's doing up original speed controller and I get the profit back and put it back into the savings. That's how that's how this works anyway, so nothing too spectacular. Um, Server gone, that gone. It already weighs less than it did. It's very light now, so um, I'll be splitting. I'll be splitting the next video. You see, all this gearbox will be off, and the drive shaft at the end will be off. And I'll do a service video. Okay, meet you later. For that. Hello, welcome back to RC News. This is part two of Under the Hood. Um, this is a new playlist I'm doing for upgrades and cars that I do for people if they want it on here. As you can see, the 201 now is in bits. Yes, it's all done. Um, a lot of these, a lot of these, as I call them, polo mints. A lot of these stupid Tammy Apollo mints, and I don't like them, so I'm going to try and find you a load of either copper bushings or better. Um, I've got hordes of them somewhere. I don't know where I've put them. I've put them away because I know I need them for this project. Um, somewhere bloody stupid anyway. 
I've also had a look at your drive shafts are fine, there's no wear and tear there which is surprising because you race it in mud. Um, let's have a look. I'll find it anyway. I'll find them, I know where they are, so I'm going to put new bushes in them and this motor, this shirt, this motor is absolutely a, you can hear that. Is it? That's gone already. Shouldn't be that much play in it. I've got a spare one here, bud, so I'll put that in for you and I'll take that off. It's a Johnson motor anyway, I think, isn't it? Yeah, it's a Johnson motor, so it's... I don't even know what... Here's one for you, everyone. Find out what turn these Johnson... I know it's 540, but what turn is it? Because I don't think it is a big turn. I think it's just something like 50 turn, I don't know. That's the homework for you. Find out what turn Johnson motors are. Um, there's no way 540 winds in there. It might be. Uh, that's it. Nothing else to say really. Um, next update you'll see will be hopefully the rebuild of this. I've been in a lot of trouble trying to get the paintwork off the Scooby for the windows. Don't know what paint that is, but it isn't shifting, and I dare go to any static. Um, there's a few ideas actually, if you know what I mean. There's a few ideas we can get them off with. I just keep using stuff till it removes. I only want the windows doing. I'm leaving it blue as it is. I'm not respraying it. Um, I was going to de-sticker it, and I thought the no, it's an enthusiastic car. I'll put stickers on it for me, be but if I have to remove anything, I'll do it anyway. So uh, the shell is. The shell's alright, it's not in bad nick, I've seen worse. Tell you the truth, out of 100% um, condition, I'd say it was about 75%. There's nothing really wrong with it. A few cracks and normal wear and tear, but as I said, I'm going to condition that. I'm going to condition that and then um, strengthen it up for you. But there's the stickers I'm doing, I think you might like them, so hopefully you do. And it'll also get logoed with RC Nerd on it because that's part of the deal. So um, That's it really. These are all done. I can't do any more now until the bits come. Um, look, weighed a lot lighter when you take all that heavy guff off it. Um, the wheels need to be washed. There's no foam in there so we need to add foam to them mate. Um, the original Tamiya grip ones as well. But if you want buddy I can swap I can swap you them for a better pair and I'll you know I can use them on something else if you want it if not well, I'll just send you them up. Um hope everybody's enjoying watching the Unimog still a bit tacky the glue the paint so and even in this weather it's taking a long time to evaporate. So I'll do two more, I'll do one more coat and then we'll get it varnished up and then get the thing on and then we can take it from there. Paul, your idea of um, a can of or as we call it, tarpaulin, yeah, that would be a brilliant idea. Um, I might still make a tent like canopy that goes over it, but I'm going to make the framework first and then I'll get on to you about the size because I'd have to do it all in paper. And, sort of out in paper and see what line for is because I want the metal rods to go through like you do on them pop up tents so I want them to bend, click in so when you take it off it comes out flat so I've got to find some of that um, bendable stuff um, don't even know what type of material it is but it'll work, it'll be fine but there you go, um, yeah I've had it. sorry I didn't get no bashing done but I'm just not and up to it today after mum not being very well last night so I'll speak to you all soon and stay safe yeah ta -da.